Tsukai, thank you very much for the pinky. I need advice on how to deal with the breakup. She pretty much said, it's not you, it's me. I'm not ready for a relationship. Would have been one year yesterday, but I'm 99% sure she found someone new and left me for that reason. Hmm. Relationship advice. I mean, hmm. Obviously, it's complicated because if this is someone you really, really love and care about, then it's hard because you never want to break up with someone that you really care about. But inversely, at the same time, even if that's necessarily the case, first off, if someone broke up with you for someone else, they did, they did you a favor because that just means they didn't deserve you in the first place, okay? They found someone else they liked better. That doesn't speak on you, that speaks on them. That doesn't mean something's wrong with you. That just means they wanted something different, which isn't a bad thing. It just means that you now have the chance to go out there and find someone who's going to like you for everything that you are instead of potentially looking outward for something in somebody else, if that makes sense. So personally, I would recommend that it's, it's hard, of course, but I would take it as a blessing in disguise sort of situation and look at it and say okay well this just gives me the opportunity to fall in love all over again with someone who's gonna appreciate me this time but i'm really sorry to hear that happen to you because you know stuff like that is never easy breakups are never easy for anyone especially when you really really love the person that you are with you know but i believe in you you'll get through this so just keep doing your best because that's all you can do in this sort of situation yeah eventually you'll find someone perfect and even then this is maybe a slightly morbid story. It's not my story, obviously. I I had, I used to full-time nanny when I was quite young. And I, the lady that I nannied for, she, she was single. And she had a sister who was also single, okay? So they, or she wasn't single. Her sister was single. I'm sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, her sister was single. <laughs> And she would often be over there. And she's like an older, older lady. Like she was in her 40s, I believe. And I, I got to talking to her a lot. I don't know why I was there when there was another adult, but that's beside the point. Um, we, we got to be like pretty, pretty good in terms of being friendly. Cause I don't know. I need to pause the Smith's music. It's distracting me. I need to hear my own thoughts. Uh, I, I really, really liked her vibe. There was just something about her that was so like lax, like relaxed, but at the same time, like she was like a boss lady. Like she like had her own business. She was doing really well for herself. And I, I saw her and I was very much like, that's what I want to be when I grow up. <laughs> Someone who really has it together. And we got to talking because I knew she had been married before and I didn't know what happened. And I found out that she, had met the love of her life when she was in her early 20s and he was a bit older than her and sadly uh they only had about 10 15 years together before he passed away i i thought for me i was like that sounds like the saddest shit in the world like you you meet the love of your life and they they pass away and you you only get 10 years together so for me that was the only way i could process it you know, because I was, I was young. And so we were talking about it. And I was like, well, how did you, like, get through that? Like, no wonder, like, I didn't say it like this, but I was just kind of thinking, like, no wonder she's still single because mood, like, oh, my God. Like, but she was like, you know, I think, I think love is the greatest thing in the world. And in, in a way, obviously, it's sad. And I, I wish she was still here. But in, in another sense, I have the opportunity now to go out and fall in love all over again. So really, in a way... It's also a gift because I found love. I had this really profound, amazing love experience and I, I enjoyed it thoroughly. And now I, I get to go out and if I find someone else, I, I get to do that all over again. So, and I was like, that is such a good way, like a healthy way to look at that. <laughs> I don't think I could ever be that kind of person just cause like, I don't know. I don't know. I, I think I'd be too sad if something like that happened, but I was like, that's amazing. <laughs> that you can like view that situation from that perspective. But that's a way to look at it. I mean, yeah, time heals all. You eventually move on and you can appreciate the memories you make with people without necessarily needing to have them there. But I'm just, I'm someone who holds on to grief for so long. I, I just can't let go of things that are really sad, sadly. I, uh, like when people who are important to me pass away, I can't look at pictures of them anymore. I start crying, so like. <laughs> Again, personally, not for me, but everybody's different. 
and everything there's always a potential for you to do things a multitude of ways and your perspective if there's anything i've learned in life your perspective can greatly change the outcome of most things in your life so it's good to consider your perspective and try thinking from a different perspective than you normally would if you're kind of stuck in a rut and things aren't working out for you. Because that's always helped me when I've had problems. Kind of wish you would have just said the truth. We're supposed to stay friends. But I feel like to get the closure, I mean, uh, I need the truth. But I know if I push further, well, being friends won't be a possibility. I see. I mean, obviously, it's, again, it's a tough situation. I can't. I'm just a streamer online, so at the end of the day, I, I can't really tell you what the best situation is. I don't, I don't know either of you personally and like well enough to be able to tell you like what the best thing to do is in this situation. But I just say, I don't know. I guess it's hard because when you're in a situation like that, like you want to know and you want the answer. But sometimes when someone breaks up with you, it's the sad reality that like they'll give you a reason, but there really is no real answer. Because it's, it's, it can be a plethora of things. It could be, if you guys live together, it could be that maybe you never put the toilet seat down. And there was just one time where that was one too many times. And that just made her mind break, you know? You, you might just fall out of love naturally over time. And just realize that what you have is more of a friendship with the person that you love. You know, like, there's, there's a multitude of reasons that things like that can happen. So, it's kind of a toilet seat. <laughs> Yeah, so it's 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 rough. I, I I I'm not really qualified to give good advice. I I wouldn't I wouldn't push on it personally. Like I I think if you're going to stay friends, I think you should push on it and just be like, hey, I I don't care either way. But th then you have to also question why do you want to know so bad if you if your main goal is to stay friends? Because if you're gonna stay friends and you want to stay friends either way, then as long as they didn't they, they weren't unfaithful or anything the reason doesn't necessarily matter you know the whole point is just she likely fell out of love with you which is unfortunate but again sometimes that's how the cookie crumbles and there's not much you can do about it sometimes that's just life but yeah ch chase and closure sometimes I, I feel like in breakups if you are still in love with the person i feel like closure is something that is not really possible because if if you push for it because again like are you are you hoping that she'll admit to like potentially being unfaithful like w what's the what's the purpose of reaching for it like just wanting honesty potentially but i just feel like you know you never know the situation 100 percent, and sometimes it's okay that way but you you could you could try to have a conversation with her about it and be like hey like i just feel like i will not be able to get through it but what you also have to maybe accept is that the the, the reasoning she has given you might just genuinely be the reasoning and you might just be hoping for more because you're in a place of hurt again obviously i don't know either of you well enough to give like actual like advice but obviously it hurts to not have like a real answer or like what what feels to you like a real answer but sometimes the real answer is just as boring as the one that you were given and will never meet your expectations of like what you want the reasoning to be because you might want you might want the reasoning to be that she fell in love with someone else and maybe she did but that that still might not be the main reason that she ended up realizing that she wanted to end the relationship i don't know though <laughs> i'm not sure best advice is just to move on it's hard to focus on something else and you'll yeah i think that's good advice too if someone's told you that they don't they don't want to be with you anymore it really is best just to accept that and move on and then find other things i like an honest answer even if it comes off at harsh yeah and i mean i think that's another thing that you could take because I, I like i like honesty too in, in any friendship or anything like that i feel like honesty is best policy so if she lied to you anyway is this someone you really want to be friends with if you're convinced that her answer was a lie and that it makes you feel so anxious that you feel like you need to find a way to confront her? Is it worth the physical, or not the physical, but the, the like mental pain, I guess, is the best way I can put it. Again, I'm sorry, I don't really have good advice on this. I don't really think I've, I, I haven't really been in a similar situation, so I'm not really qualified. So I'm sorry, but gambate, keep doing your best. You'll recover through this. You don't have to stay friends with said person just because 
you think that might be what you want right now, maybe you'll realize that, like, you only really see them as a lover, and if they're not, then you don't really want them around, and that's okay, too. You might decide that you want to be BFFs for the rest of your life, so that's fine, too. But you don't have to do anything you don't want to do. Yeah, I can't stand people who lie, though. I will say that I feel like when I find out someone is exceedingly dishonest, I just genuinely tend to not want to associate with that person. Because I really hate liars more than anything in the world. Because I feel like, especially if you care about someone, the least you can do is tell them the truth about a situation. It's one thing if you don't care about that person or if you're in an unsafe situation and you need to like escape or something. Obviously, like there's different situations that call for different things. Obviously, there's times when you might have to lie or like when you're just telling a white lie, like if someone makes you food, that's really disgusting and you really don't want to tell them that because they worked really hard. And so you tell them it's it's okay and you, you know like a tiny white lie that doesn't hurt anyone but the moment you start telling lies that do hurt people or put them in a situation where the dishonesty could be harmful i feel like that's just one of the worst things you could do to people that you care about what if you lie to the irs uh, well you're going to jail <laughs> I don't know how to tell you this, but if you lie to the IRS, you're probably not going to be in my streams again. <laughs> I probably won't see you again. 